Hey, if you look at that, it's holding on. Bump. Hello my friends and welcome back to another Road Reality video. Today on the vlog, do your rides need purpose? I came out here with no purpose. I just wanted to ride for like a half an hour, tool around a couple of back roads near my house, and there's no purpose to this ride, so feel free to click off now. No, 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 I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. I came up with a purpose because I was watching Moose 3971's video on Insta360 mounting positions. Hey, biker. Hey, there we go. And it got me to thinking, I need a better way to mount my 360 camera solidly to my bike this time. So I came up with this. Hi, did you see that? Yeah. I bought the Insta360 Unicorn Helmet Mount, and like every other piece of technology, I'm not using it for its intended purpose. I'm using it for something other than that, which in this case is mounting it to a GoPro large bar mount, and then I hooked that to my engine guard. Except I couldn't get the large bar mount to get tight enough around the engine guard to not rotate, so I can't get a fancy like up there view. So what I've got is what I've got, and I've got an angle there so the wind pushes it up a little bit. It's kind of like this into the wind, and it's just going to have to do. But this next corner ought to look pretty darn cool from that camera, especially if I zoom out just a little bit so you can see the whole bike. And we'll get to we'll get to back back to that in a minute. Now, there are two reasons that I have the 360 camera on the right-hand side almost all the time, unless I have it up there on the fairing where you are today. The number one reason is, that's the pretty side of the bike. I mean, look at that. You can see my intake, my air cleaner cover thing. And I think that looks better than the horn that's on the other side. The second reason is, this is my clutch hand. And as they tell you in the MSF, in the, for the first sign of trouble, just grab the freaking clutch. Because if you're accelerating towards a curb or towards an object, the, I mean, the least worst thing you can do is to grab the clutch lever because it cuts all power to the rear tire and you will no longer be accelerating and you'll almost instantly start decelerating in some form or fashion. So. And by the way, somebody in our MSF course did not take that to heart and they ended up taking a spill and they were injured. They're okay, but they were uh, they were taken to the hospital, honestly. They dislocated their shoulder. I felt bad for the guy. But anyway, that's your safety tip of the day. And like I said, <laughs> this ride had no purpose until I came up with a 360 mount and here I am rambling about MSF courses. But Hey, we could all use a refresher once in a while. I plan to take a refresher soon. I did bring the four foot selfie sticks. Uh, I have not had that camera mounted as solidly outside of the fairing since that first mashup video. Them's the brakes, folks. Did you like that corner? Yeah, I really like the footage on that corner. That was really cool. And it's windy, so I had to film at a stoplight. For some reason, this road always has a crosswind east to west. Right now, I'm rolling northeast, and the crosswinds aren't too bad in this section, but back there, they're pretty damn bad. So I, I can't film over there. I have to film stoplights. 
So let's skip ahead to a road where I can talk and not be blown out by the wind. Skip. So back on topic, do your rides always have to have a purpose or do you just go out meandering? Personally, I like to go out meandering, but because of life, usually my best excuse is to go out for a ride is when I have a purpose. Hence the tour pack on the back, because I can carry a lot of junk in there. So like I can commute on this bike easily and take my laptop with me without wearing a backpack. And I can go grocery shopping for a small amount of groceries. Usually I go to the liquor store on, the, on this bike. <laughs> Other than that, it's just basically to clear my head. You know, you get out on a good ride and the riding in and of itself forces you to pay attention to the road and your surroundings. And that right there is a purpose, but it really just lowers your stress level. And, you know, people get addicted to motorcycling for just that reason, because it's their me time. They can go, do stuff like this, bend into a turn. You know, it feels really good when you nail the corner. It feels really good when you nail a corner and you get down deep in that thing and just roll on the throttle. Oh yeah, oh, that's the stuff. Oh yeah, look at that guy. See, he leaned a little bit too. Way to go, buddy. I've yet to scrape any hard parts on this bike, but I think I'm getting fairly close. The problem is I tend to lean my body further than the bike into the corner. So what that does is makes the bike lean less. So I'm less likely to scrape hard parts, but you have a little more control over the bike when you lean in like this and it just sets you up nice for that corner. Plus, it can prevent sore ass because you're moving your butt around on the seat quite a bit while you're riding. And isn't that better? It gives you longer, more comfortable rides. So that's gonna wrap up this video. If you liked it, you know what to do. Boop the like button, leave me a comment below, and please share it with your friends and consider subscribing if you'd like to buy a unicorn mount through my Amazon affiliate links, it's uh, no, no extra cost to you, but it helps the channel out ever so little bit. Ever, I gotta stop saying it. It helps the channel out a little bit if you do buy it through me, uh, through Amazon, through me, something like that. Anyway, click on the link, get you a unicorn mount, and enjoy it. And let me know how you used it. So if you do get one and you use it, uh, send me a picture on Instagram or tag me or whatever or post a video on YouTube of you using it. That'd be cool too. And uh, yeah, until I see you again, keep the shiny side up, take care. And since I forgot to mention it earlier, the GoPro Max is doing fine in and of itself, but it does have a snafu in that I opened up my pack of replacement lenses. There were four of them, uh, not lenses, shoot, I gotta stop doing it. The lens protectors, and all four of them create ghosting. So if you noticed any ghosting in this video where it sort of seems out of focus, blurry, you know, two of the same thing, that sort of thing, uh, let's do the lens protector, but I'm not willing to ride without it because obviously I'm bound to break them occasionally. So I don't want to break the lenses. They're non-replaceable on the Max. So I went ahead and I just threw the best one of the four on there. And I, I reached out to GoPro and they're gonna send me uh, two new ones. So we'll see if that fixes it. Otherwise, it's gonna minimize my use of this thing. Uh, unfortunately, that's just the, the way the game is played, I guess. But that's, uh, that's where I'm at with the GoPro Max.